Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Play Slay the Spire. Terrible performances lately. Let's work through it the only way I know how, by incrementing the number of attempts we've done. Learning one thing, hopefully, in the process, and not having that thing push something valuable out. This is a tough one. It, we're spoiled for choice, in my opinion. Definitely, for me, it's obtain a random rare or choose a random rare. And then it becomes, how valuable is the choice? Is the choice worth 6 max HP? It could be, but there's no way for us to know. I'm gonna go with free random rare and just hope it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. We are forced to fight an elite. If we want to be, I, like, I love this path. But there's two elites. I'm willing to give it a try. Here's the thing. You know, I occasionally talk about, like, um... Costanza-ing. That's basically what we're gonna do right now, is Costanza. Um, we're gonna do things, not maybe 100% different than we've been doing them. But we're gonna do them a little bit differently than we've been doing them. As a result of the fact that our runs lately have not been what we're looking for. We don't have too many slimes in this deck. I think we're still good to go here. So we need to... If we're going to fight two elites... And people have been telling me this on Twitter, and and I'm listening. I know it might, might seem like I'm not because of the... I mean, the backlog for Slay the Spire is actually pretty large right now. It's the natural byproduct of enjoying the game a lot. But um, in what I'm trying to get at is... We need to thicken these decks early. Particularly, um, I do think Crippling Cloud is good enough. Especially with a burst. Deflect is... I mean, I would take any of these. Choke is also good. But I think Crippling Cloud is maybe going to be my first option. We're also really, really, really looking for a well-laid plan so we can hold burst for the cards where it actually matters. Like, to be able to, hey, Burst doesn't do anything for us on turn one. We're just going to hold it and get Crippling Cloud later. That's that's kind of what I'm looking for. So we're taking three, but I think it's necessary to get this uh, done ASAP. We're not losing too much HP in the process here. We really can't afford to lose too much HP in the process. Lucky to get to lethal there, um, because we have to fight these elites and also simultaneously upgrade. So, it's not a popular decision, maybe. But I'm going to... I mean, Burst Deadly Poison is good, but I'm going to take Backstab for a simple reason. And that's... I really think that we benefit a lot from having 12 free damage on the first floor. So good. Now, on later floors... Backstab, I'm not going to say it's a dead card, because there's there's many ways that it could be useful. But, uh, it's not immediately worth all that much. But for now, I think just the ability to maybe cut a turn or two off of a, off of an encounter is worth a lot. Burst backflip is worth something. Um, it is hard to play Predator, so I think I'll, I'll, I'll take backflip. Predator is also good, don't get me wrong. Probably Burst is, is what you get the upgrade of, but, well, yeah, Burst, the thing is, it, crippling, Burst Crippling Cloud with an upgraded Burst doesn't help you unless you have a skill that costs zero or four energy. So you're tempted to just go Crippling Cloud, and then you could play, hey, Crippling Cloud Backflip or something, but you're still gonna, or I guess it would still benefit from a doubled Burst here, true, but... What about turns where we get Burst, Backflip, Burst, Survivor, Burst, Defend? What about turns where we don't get Crippling Cloud and Burst simultaneously? You know? I think it's our best choice. But it's close. I think it's close. Man, I wish you were 12 damage. <laughs> That's painful. Um, you're going to weaken me. I really, really don't want that to happen. So I I'm content with the choice I made. We are going to take four damage. Still feeling all right about where we stand. Dude does gain five strength a turn. That gets 
uh, pretty bad pretty quickly. But I think we got him. We need to hit, hit him once. Easy enough, right? Uh, almost not, but sure. All right, so we got our first elite fight coming up. Um, I don't think we need to add anything right now. I do not see Burst Crippling Cloud. So, I'm going to try to will it into existence. We didn't. I'm going to hit you with the poison. Obviously, it would be better if it was on a different uh, elite, but I still want to use the potion here. You know, if we got it, let's flaunt it. And we're getting out ahead of them pretty quickly. So this is, I was going to say, very likely, or guaranteed now, we're going to get Crippling Cloud. We won't be able to burst it, though. As a result of our energy. But. Too weak on all enemies. This guy was already dead. We lose Crippling Cloud forever. I think it's worth it. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. And and take as little as possible. I think I've pretty much, you know, I've derived the spirit of the game. We have no other means of doing a substantial amount of damage. Which is the other problem with this deck. Now, Crippling Cloud is basically our win condition. Apart from that, we just sort of block a lot. So this is not great anymore. And I, I'm realizing now... Probably would have benefited from Predator. Why didn't you just kill him and then you don't have to care if 10 damage is left on the field? Yikes. Well, the, the worst case scenario right here is that we won't be able to upgrade after this fight and instead we'll feel like a rest is in order. But we are going to get... I keep talking about these elite fights. I'm, I'm guilty of like I oscillate from one extreme to the other. So I'm like, all right, we got to do every elite fight because relics are all that matters. And then I'm like, ah, I fought too many elites and I died. <laughs> then people are like, don't fight as so many elites. And I'm like, got it. Don't fight any elites. And they're like, wait a minute. We didn't say that. So except that, yes, we paid a cost to fight this boss, but we're going to get a relic as well. Question card? Maybe? Oh, good. Well, a plans is exactly what we need. I think we need to rest. I would prefer not to. We have no other means of gaining HP, though. So I, I stand by this. This is one where I think you really want to wait for the proper turn. And being able to hold backstab is very helpful in, in making that happen. We want Burst Crippling Cloud. So, I know this seems bad. We need to draw it here. And we did, obviously. Is this good enough? Yeah, I, I genuinely think so. Eight poison is like 36 damage, something along those lines. We're keeping him weak for a long time. Take a little bit of damage to kill him a little faster. The weakness is very, very helpful here. Why burst defend? Well, because really the only better option we have is burst survivor i know we could have just defend defend but i want to play the i want to play the rare card though i guess burst does hit two rares as well so we will hold that instead of survivor um we're ahead of where we would normally be here so that's cool and we'll burst backflip extend that weakness a little longer and you know just keep it going not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage and again, our damage falls way off. Once we lose out on Crippling Cloud. So we got to be cognizant of that. And probably now is the time to strike. Like, quite literally, the time to play our strikes. And also the time to figuratively act. We should have attacked faster earlier. I think that's very clear now. We'll try to get you next turn, but no promises. We're going to be low on HP again, but hey, it's another relic. We can't get you, so we'll do Survivor. Hit you here. Retain this. We just need one more strike. All right, work with me, game. The boot. 
Not really what I'm looking for, but Glass Knife is really good. Singing Bowl, potentially extremely helpful. We obviously have to be real careful about the way that we're handling the rest of this. Because of well laid plans, I think we definitely play this. Thor Crippling Cloud. And it's a good burst opportunity, but we need to make sure we're not taking damage first. Unfortunate, but what can you do? This floor is all about survival now. I actually think we have an okay, and it shouldn't surprise you, I guess, but we have a good relic base for the future. Just need to live. And who's our boss? Ooh, that is... <laughs> That is not the boss I'm looking for. Footwork. I think it fits into like every deck, so. Upgraded card. So many good options. Crippling Cloud gets way better. Starts doing 28 poison damage. Doesn't add any weak, but that's okay. Footwork gets better. Um, well, a plans gets better. Glass Knife gets better. What's most important? I really think it's a Glass Knife. Our problem with this deck right now is killing enemies too slowly. It's weird. We could have gone for Prismatic Shard, which could have been funny. But, uh, I, I took this on a recent run. And I kind of liked it. And I'm eager to see if it'll work for us here. Uh, it's not really the gold. It's a combination of the gold and the, the extra damage as a result of it. Um, so we will backstab. And we will glass knife. And uh, to be honest with you. I think we will hand of greed. Because more than anything else. We want to be able to. Oh we are not going to split ship. That's like. It's a guarantee. But if we can not take much damage on this turn. And then stay. This will split you. So we want to store that and wait for burst. And we can't hit you. So yeah, just play this. This is fine. We're taking a lot of damage, but it's in a good interest here. Didn't get glass knife. What do you do? Play this. I mean, I prefer to not have slimes enter into my deck, but... We'll pop this regardless. I'm going to end the turn. I know this seems goofy. This is what we wanted, though. I mean... It, it is and it isn't. Okay, now I'm like, I'm dumb. What we should do instead is end turn, because he's not doing anything except repairing. We know we can split him. We're going to look for Glass Knife to make sure that he takes maximum damage. Even if we got Glass Knife, we couldn't play it now. So we'll just split him like so. Store a backflip. Now Crippling Cloud can hit multiple enemies, but I don't know. I think I might have uh, galaxy brained myself into oblivion. We need to play it like this. It allows us to Come back with Fairy in a Jar. This is very scary. Um, I don't think we can burst Crippling Cloud. I think what we can do is neutralize Crippling Cloud. To kill you. You'll die in two turns. You'll be weak, then we can play a defend. A defend. And we'll keep burst, because survivability is the is the real meat of this right now. Frailty is just horrible. You're doing 9 damage. That's not that bad. We can get around that. You're dead. So we'll keep you weak. You're not gonna split. Um, so 
So I'm playing it a little coy, but I'm just holding burst in hand. Basically, I think we'll still hit him because he's going to split at 27. So I think we do want him to be closer to splitting rather than getting rid of another slimed. We're waiting for a hand of greed. And if we can get it on the same turn as Glass Knife, that would be awesome. But um, in fact, I think we're actually waiting a little bit longer. I'm going to burst, defend, play a slime, store hand of greed. There's Glass Knife. Two enemies, five HP each. Have we done it? Alright. There but for the grace of Mega Crit, go I. What are we even doing in this deck? Um, we just have good cards. At least that's the way I see it. Uh, as of right now, I'll tell you, Grand Finale, I don't... If, if you can make it pop, more power to you. We can get a deck that's just Grand Finale and Spinning Top. Sure. In Venom, we don't really have a deck that fits in Venom right now. So it's Wraith Form or Bullet Time. Wraith Form, with well-laid plans, is basically like, hey, he's going to kill you? Nah, I don't think so. So I think we take that. Normally, I would probably go Bullet Time. Uh, but... I think this makes the most sense. We have to be able to rest at rest sites. Unless we think now with Wraith form that we don't. I definitely feel like that is not the case. But I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I think we sort of need to swing for the fences. And I hope... Well, I mean, there's... Okay, we can dodge elites, which is, I think, maybe wise now. But uh, I think that this is an acceptable play for us. Eight damage. That's what I like to see. This guy's tough to kill without any poison, though. So the frailty is just obviously horrendous. Um... Yeah, um, we're going to do it like this. We only have two turns to get through the intangibility here. And that's obviously just not, well, any good at all. Um, we're going to store backflip in the hopes that somehow it lets us draw into something that could draw us into. <laughs> uh, and it actually, it can't, but it's close. Something that could draw us into drawing into lethal was my idea. I mean, you could hit him twice, but I think you're much better off just trying to at least put up some form of block here. We get to 12. Uh, sure, I'll hit him once. We'll retain a strike, because I think we got to kill him next turn or the bleeding's going to get even worse. Um, sure. No hand of greed, that's fine. That's a nasty fight. Well, I, I wanted the HP. This is wild. You need to poison them. And they're not doing any damage. We'll hit this one to get him a little closer. I think we'll play... Footwork, just in case, and we'll store the Hand of Greed, but thank God for the weakness there. Um, I, I, I wanted Escape Plan because it helps us draw gas faster. Full stop. Okay. You're dead. That's unbelievably good news. Um, you're also dead. Just not till next turn. So I think we're going to store this Hand of Greed. And then we're using that to get extra gold, of course. We really need to buy Pantograph on the shop. Is It's like an unspoken truth to this run right now. 
Dude, I will take another escape plan. I don't think they need to be upgraded to provide value. Sometimes they're going to give you nothing. No doubt about that. Dude, look at this, though. Okay, burst. You start escape plan, I think. But crippling cloud. Already getting you into some good spots there. We have so many upgrade targets, which is great because we can't rest. <laughs> like I said, great. That is that is a great and good thing. So, we're now, this is the first fight, I think, since we've gotten Wraith Form, that we're able to use it the way I want to use it in an ideal context, which is, essentially, hold it until a turn in which you would get your butt kicked. No Hand of Greed, huh? And then, uh, use it as a get-out-of-jail-free card when things get rough. I am going to burst escape plan. Yo. So that's 15 free block. Um, I do think you still have to play Hand of Greed. I would love to save it and get the 20 gold out of it, but we need to kill these guys. It's more important that we kill them quickly than we get the gold. Now, we want the gold. Plus, it, I mean, the Hand of Greed, I just always... And again, I'm not trying to be uh, too rude to myself, you know? I got a, I got a certain charm in Slay the Spire. And even when I make laughably, colossally bad plays, like Galaxy braining myself into taking damage for literally no reason, uh, people are interested in watching. He's going to heal, but I'm going to try for it. Um... Usually interested in watching. Often interested in watching. Let's not get too dramatic. Thanks for the gold. But what we need to do... Is be smarter. Uh, and, and really just play slower. I know I say it all the time, but... It does matter. Oh, this is a terrible question mark. I like that you're doing zero damage. Being able to store a card is great, but we don't want to store Wraith form yet. Oh, you fool. Uh, this is what I mean by play slower. You just took the Ancient Potion. There's no better time to use the Ancient Potion than right there. So this guy is not dead. I don't really want to play a doubled escape plan. I'll save it for next turn because we might need it, but... He needs to get hit once, or he's weak forever. Oh, he's doing 10 this turn, so we do want to kill him if possible. So, this is where we're going to start to think about these dazes. That's unfortunate. However... He is dead before he can hit you, so it's not that unfortunate. So, we have a pretty simple play here. We're basically waiting. Oh, next turn's gonna blow, dude. <laughs> We're waiting for Wraith Form to come back around. Uh, at which point we will play it or store it, depending on what the enemy's doing. We don't need to worry about that. We took a little damage here, but but life's going on. You know what we actually need to do, though, is hit this shop, like, ASAP. Because we need the relics faster than I originally anticipated. I know, it's a lot of escape plans. The timekeeper is gonna... He's gonna have a fun time with us. You know what? If there's a bonus, at least we were able to store the ancient potion and use it later. On the Sneko. To be honest, it doesn't seem that bad. You know, we took 9 damage. Maybe we would have taken more if we hadn't used it here. 
Once you get well laid plans, wraith form, it's just all about making sure you can last long enough to pop it properly. And, I mean, this is a great turn to use it, as far as I can tell. Yeah. And I don't mind it's taking one damage. If that makes a difference, we screwed up somewhere else down the line in all likelihood. We do have a debuff coming, but... I don't really want to play Hand of Greed. Ah, oh, it's a weakness debuff. You son of a gun. Still... We did manage to get ya. It could matter. Fairy in a bottle. I hate to say it, but it is a heal. Predator's tempting. I don't know. I, I'll level with you. I think we're kind of adrift. I'm trying, though. There's many vital upgrades. I think one extra... Who's our boss? I still think one extra dex might be the best. It might... I think it's worth more than one intangible. Not the easiest decision to make. We're still in a just nightmarish situation here, by the way. I don't even want to draw burst. I think we just want this out there. We'll store backflip. 18 damage. Taking one damage is kind of what this deck is built around. And then you get two damage. Draw. Thank you. You get two damage returned to you by being able to uh, use Singing Bowl. But I don't know, man. I'm admittedly kind of of the position now where I'm like, how the heck are we going to get out of this bucket of syrup? Especially, not being able to apply poison or remove block from this guy is, is a nightmare in and of itself. 16 damage is actually nothing. So pretty quickly, I think we're coming to the position that we actually might be able to get this guy. We're not really punching through too quickly, but he's going to find it very tough to deal damage to us as well. You can only pop Wraith Form. Like, we're taking two here. I still think you can only pop Wraith Form if you think there's a realistic chance you kill him in two turns, and I don't believe that that's the case. Draw attacks, please. Ah! He's so close. I'm going to play Hand of Greed. Because we could just draw it again immediately. It's not about the gold. It's just about killing him. Draw it. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> Good lord. Um, so Noxious is kind of a progressive win condition. I don't want to take it, but I feel like we have to take it. No Ancient Potion this time. Uh, you store Crippling Cloud, it still rules if you get a burst. Which we did. So we're gonna burst, and we're gonna start with Escape Plan, which is dicey because of all these dazes. No doubt about it. Um, but then we're gonna follow it up with the logical end point there. Store Hand of Greed. Easy kill next turn. In fact, probably too much of a kill next turn. Still, it kills the enemy, so... Alright, we got a lot of dazes in this deck. We're just trying to hang tough. We really need... This is dicey, dude. Uh, should have played the attack, but we really need... The important part is saving the Wraith form. 
Uh, we really, absolutely, have I said it enough uh, to this point, 100% need a shop in our very, very near future. This guy's not going to be weak forever. But, that would rule. Start here. Okay, he's doing 30 damage. You don't have much of a choice. We're weak for five turns. Wow. He's dead, but we got real close. Hand of greed? Hand of greed? Okay, fine. We just need to survive at this point. Um, I really want these three question marks, so I do think we have to fight this enemy. Dude, meat on the bone. Meat on the bone. It pulls us out of oblivion. Maybe. You cowards, give me crippling cloud. Well, obviously, let's be simple. We can't afford uh, to play Wraith form. So... For a first turn, that's not so bad. They're all going to gain 5 strength per turn, which is horrible. But there's only 12 damage on the field immediately. Honestly, I think you have to. And then they're doing 8. I think you accept a little bit of damage here. And you save your energy potion for a slightly more dangerous turn. Which could happen at any moment. We're taking six damage here. I still... You know, I actually think you could probably get away with this now. This guy is very likely to die next turn. And if he does, we probably won't, which is extremely sick. As of right now, very important for me, I think, that we just keep Fairy in a bottle alive to begin with. But let's see, can we beat the odds here? So check this out. We're gonna get a payout from Hand of Greed. I think we, we take Deflect in that situation because we have so much free decks. And we're... I mean, we have six decks up. It's no kunai, but it's kind of like a makeshift kunai. You know what? At this point, yes. Give me some means to replenish my own HP. I will take a regen potion. Thank you for the sweet mercy. Um, we'll pop it immediately. I hate that that does four damage there, which we got to increment it to five, so I don't see what you're complaining about, but um, yeah, that, that sucks pretty bad. Uh, we'll... Backflip, draw burst. No burst. We're doing 18 damage. Okay. We're gonna store Wraith form. Where is my burst? This turn? I believe in that play. I think you you don't play Wraith Form unless you think you're getting them in two turns. We're not getting them in two turns right now, so just get a little regen and enjoy your life. Store Wraith Form. <laughs> How are we going to make this work? It's a nightmare, dude. Ah, it's not going to kill him. Should have played Wraith form. Absolutely true. Whatever. At least we're going to heal for 12. 
It's actually a lot right now. I mean, I'll level with you. We don't beat this boss. There's, it's inconceivable. Like, I, I don't see a world in which it makes sense that we beat this boss. Even with six decks, we gotta just draw till the end of time. So we're almost certainly done. Um, and you know what? It's okay. We tried... I don't know if we tried something different here. we kind of been floundering. But either way, we get to play as the defect next. Playing as the defect, in my head, means we have an actual, genuine, real chance of victory. But these ascensions... I thought I was getting it over on them. They've gotten into my head. So there's 30 damage coming out. It's pretty bad. But... We gain 11 block. Heal for 4 while doing damage. Or Crippling Cloud. I think you gain 11 block. You store Crippling Cloud. We only get one shot to use this card. I don't know. I wouldn't say it's much of a win condition. But kind of like Crippling Cloud Burst. It's on the list of things we would like to see happen. I hate that we have such an impotent turn here, but... So Burst... The thing is, we're probably going to use Fairy in a Bottle here. Life goes on. You're going to burst Crippling Cloud. Twenty-nine block. It's actually really good. We can get up to forty block. Fifty-eight. You're only doing fifty-five. That's absurd. But uh, somehow, we're not even going to use Fairy in a Bottle. And they're all taking turns off. That's wonderful news. You're dead. And you give me Hand of Greed. We don't need it back immediately. We can wait a little. Okay. Do we have chances to win? Yes, we have a chance to win. Sorry, you have Glass Knife. Burst Escape Plan is unbelievably strong. And you will follow it up with a Defense. You know what? You should follow it up with the Deflect. You either get two extra block or you heal for two. You're not going to do any damage anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So we need 24 block and we have it. This might blow you away. I think we could win. And it's... Trust me, nobody's more surprised than me right now. Might as well hit you for 20, rather than healing for 2. 40 damage. We'd like to get over that. That helps, and that does it. We're really just, we're living for a couple of different things here. One is fairy in a bottle, and one is wait as long as possible for wraith form, and one is... Uh, your poison damage eventually getting him on a timer that renders it plausible for you to win. This is a tough choice. I actually think... Obviously, we're not going to get enough block. I think we let him hit us and use Fairy in a bottle. I think if we play Wraith form, we'll probably end up in an unsustainable situation. So the use of the potion, as far as I'm concerned, works wonders for me. And we're so close. <laughs> we're gonna live. Uh, and we're gonna win.
I'm just trying to think. Do you pop it here? I mean, if you burst Survivor, 28... I mean, you should pop it here. It's the right time. And I don't really care if we take two damage. I'd rather, you know, make him get weaker in the process. And Hand of Greed uh, is likely to kill him. All right, well, that's one way to do it. I think an after image is very important, even though we don't play that that many cards. And I don't know, how much value does energy give us over transforming four defense, five defense? Dude, we can't transform our defense. Don't be stupid. We need the energy. We also need the defense, because every defend is 11 block. It's the only thing that kept us in here. So we're flying unbelievably blind. You're going to make me go that way to get a guaranteed shop, huh? Uh, I will... I'm going to level with you. I'm choosing to bank on a question mark to give us a shop. We have to weaken. Takes us down to 17 damage. We're taking nine on the first turn. Considering we have bites, that's not that bad, but it's not good. It's another pretty crappy situation here. We're gonna take another nine, but you can't play Wraith Form this early. Wraith Form does need an upgrade. It'll make it a lot better, but we also have to, you know, we have to play our cards right. It's not hard. Because, you know, we usually don't have that many of them. <laughs> um, but it has to be done nonetheless. By the way, I'm just going to tell you, I'm so happy I took Noxious. Anything that puts these enemies on a timer is uh, a dream come true as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we can finally store cards. And uh, we'll store a Deflect here. We really want... Uh, Caltrops. Very good stuff happening here. Burst escape plan is... When it low rolls you, it feels like garbage, but... Did not low roll us. You're doing 22, 37. This will take us to 30 for zero energy, so we will do that. And it's all about the heals right now. We're going to store Wraith Form just because we can't afford to mess about too much. This is the turn we're worried about uh, if they all attack. I think you have to pop it. So I'm just trying to make sure they're all going to be killable. Like, you're dead next turn. You got the least poison on you, but low HP. So I'm not going to say, you know, we want bites. Yo, let's go. I'm not going to say we're getting out of this smelling like a rose. But I think we played that just about as well as you can. We need a leg sweep for sure. The weakness is way too important. I will buy... I'll actually buy two potions. <laughs> Your boy forgot that he had Sozu. Um, we screwed this one up, something fierce. This is going to sound backwards. We're going to heal two and take two damage in order to hold survivor so that maybe we can mitigate more damage next turn in the event of a horrible draw so um we should definitely play it this turn just for the record um until we get our dexterity bonuses out there this runs in a is in a horrible spot uh and we have to play wraith form this turn which means we have to prioritize killable items. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this is terrible. Of 
We're gonna we got a very offensive turn next turn. And we're gonna store leg sweep for the future. We might be able to survive one turn after things go wrong. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, burst leg sweep. Hand of greed. And then dear god. Um We can do it. One more attack. Well, oh, let's go. Alright, somehow we actually healed off of this. Alrighty. Um, start stacking up that maximum HP. We don't get the, too many chances to heal for two. This is horrible, by the way. Thank you for not all attacking on turn one. You make my dreams come true. Okay, leg sweep. Very good. We're looking for well laid plans. Did not get it. How do we win? Noxious is huge. Get this card out of my hand because we can't hold it anyway. You guys are about to get stronger, so you gotta go first. And you know what? Start putting them on a little bit of a clock. Especially with, with Noxious. In my head, I was like, we're gonna keep leg sweep. How? This way. Alright, this is the bad turn. You're all already weak. Yikes. Okay, um, for, we're taking 20 damage this turn. Somewhere in there, at least. Not being able to store Wraith form is like a, is a curse here. But it, it's very hard to justify popping it. So I think we just... I think we literally smack you and then burst survivor. You gotta go next turn, which is why I, I hope we draw Hand of Greed. We did, and uh, nothing else, by the way. Haha. -ha. I have never in my life been so happy. Definitely pop that first. And this is sincere. I've never in my life been so happy that we have meat on the bone. Can I just... I... I, I beg you. <laughs> Free me. Um, anyway, somehow we're not taking damage. This is the wildest deck I think we've ever had that's made it this far. I don't know, we... I got a short memory, but, like... Every fight is just a, a beast of incalculable danger. And I'm definitely going to do this. Like, somehow, we're not just living, but we're not really thriving. I definitely would not suggest that. Draw a bite or something, please. Okay, well... Thing is, I'd really like you to die, but... We can already take no damage. We need still to this day one of these question marks to be a uh, Yeah, this is fine. We need one of these question marks to be a shop. We have so much gold doing nothing right now. But I didn't want to fight the elites, because I'm you know relatively confident the elites will just kill us so it's a real it's a real doozy of a situation this might seem very dumb but basically as a result of intangibility uh leg sweep kills you next turn. sorry uh glass knife kills you next turn but if we can do it i'd rather kill you with hand of greed Let 
we did for more gold that will probably do nothing. Now the dodge and roll might have been the right call, but the max HP is doing wonders. And I know after image doesn't scale with decks, but you know we're in one of these situations where one HP could make all the difference. So I'm kind of and look at this. Okay, right off the bat, after image, footwork, footwork, burst, escape plan, draw defense. Call me crazy. I think we have to play Noxious instead of Survivor. I think we need to put these guys on a timer. We can rely on our bites to get our HP back to a small extent at least. 21. Sure, sounds good to me. These are the turns you watch out for. Turns in which all of them can attack on the same turn are real dangerous. With 5 energy, I can do 24, I can do 44 plus 14. I can do 58 damage and take you out. I don't care about the gold, like, at all. If we win this run... I'm not suggesting I deserve, like, a Nobel Prize, but I'm just wondering, like, who's in the running for mathematics this year? Is there a Nobel Prize for uh, single-player PvE card games? I was going to Rhapsody. Okay. Well, you know, fair play. I can't be mad. If chosen wisely. Thank God we're not fighting the Timekeeper. Okay, nobody's attacking. That's fantastic news. Let's get them all weak. And then store the Wraith form. Okay. This should work. And, it, it, I mean, it worked. Full stop. And as long as we draw an attack, we also get gold. And I think I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd rather have the HP than the gold at this point. That makes sense. You never know when 2 HP might make a difference. Speaking of which... It's not a shop! Leave! Are you insane? Runic Dodecahedron is a cruel joke. This is where things should get very interesting. You gotta love when that works like that. With no well-laid plans, um, we're gonna Crippling Cloud. I wish it didn't have to be like that, but these th these are bad turns now. This is where things get real real touchy. We're gonna take a bunch of damage on this turn. But not enough to be super worried. Footwork has to be played. And well laid plans is a, a win condition in and of itself, almost. I think you store Hand of Greed. It's way too early to store Wraith Form. So there's 33 damage. Easy enough. There's 28 damage. Easy enough. But we're like, just by the, just by our fingertips, we're staying in here. Did I mention, by the way, how excited I am to not be fighting, uh... Yeah, we want this at this point, I think. How excited I am to not be fighting, uh, the Timekeeper. All this being said, I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose to the Awakened One at this pace, but... I'm 
doing my darndest. Oh, yeah, sure. Spin the wheel. Give me a curse that I can't get rid of. You, every time. I call it every time. Don't give me normality, you son of a gun. It's decay. That's, that's the best of all curses. And plus, we got six max HP out of it. I don't know, man. Um, Noxious is doing a lot for us. This is not a shop. We have one remaining question mark that could lead to a shop. We really want to do like this, this, and then dump that. Okay. Again, we have an incredible ability to not take damage and to recover from the damage that we have taken. Just to make it this far is a golden gift. Certainly, we're not going to pop Wraith form, by the way. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to take a bunch of damage. And I think it's honestly this. Taking five damage is not really that bad. Uh, we really, you know what? Oh, this is, this is a nightmare, but we certainly, like, cannot afford to take 30 damage. Even with meat on the bone. So let's, let's get Noxious out there ASAP, please. Footwork is a necessity in, in all circumstances here. You're doing one, and we'll do it like this. Regardless, take advantage of the turns where you're not actually being hurt. So we're losing a dex per turn. We got a few more uh, opportunities to stem the bleeding there by the way of dexterity or uh, footwork, I should say. Speaking of which, get it started. Hello, Ruka. Keep leg sweep. Still many decks up, Lucky, luckily for us, I should say. And, I mean, we could even start to build a heal off of this. If we could go into that fight with full energy, like the boss fight, I don't even think it would help us that much, but it would be like a life-affirming thing for me. <laughs> Just to be able to be like, hey, we survived two floors on Ascension. When it looked like garbage. Without being able to rest at all. I think we're always going to want prepared. It's not a shop. You know, why wouldn't we? Congratulations. A 692 gold red mask. You've earned it. It's very hard for me to... I mean, I also think well-laid plans is a deserved option, but... Alright, so I hope you enjoy this effect you paid 692 gold for. Everything has to get out there. We obviously will pop this as well. Very temporarily, we will entertain the thought of having Runic Dodecahedron, and it's gone. Honestly, play it out. Keep this guy weak as long as possible. No, thank you. Extremely, so you're saying there's a chance, voice. So you're saying there's a chance. Even though it is way overkill, I think you gotta. 
pretty soon it's just going to be this guy, and he's not going to be getting any stronger. We need as many of those as possible. What are those? Please don't say that. <laughs> um, well, no. What those are in this situation is high value escape plans and we have the it's the same fight that we had on the second floor in case you're curious it's a very very simple one we put up block and we don't get hit and when we get hit we don't get hit for much okay look at that so we're building our HP back. To be honest, we can't afford to hold Wraith Form yet, so we're going to go with Prepared. You know, it's going to be dead. If we play Wraith Form now, we lose. We basically, bar none, we have to play it during the second stage. Might as well dump Survivor then. Store deflect. Okay. So I think, you know, for the first phase, we're going to be fine. He's just going to get worse as time goes on. The second stage is going to be a problem, but I'm increasingly letting myself believe that we actually might have something here. By the way, I'm so happy uh, we have a hand of greed. And I, so many times I've said it. This is just a bummer, but so many times I've said it, but I want to make it clear. Having a decent attack, even though it's expensive, means a ton for us right now. And that burst really got us out of a jam means a ton for us right now when we I only apart from that have a glass knife that gets worse and worse as time goes on oh my god so what are we what are we drawing we're gonna keep prepared and somehow <laughs> we're at two less HP than we started with Draw burst, please. There's no burst. What do we play? We don't need to play the bites. The hand of greed, maybe, but the bites are low tier right now. You burst, defend. You burst, defend. Honestly, you probably hand of greed. If you could find a turn to play two bites, that's good. Now we gotta really do well on our blocks here. That's a good start. And you are not going to believe this, and I sort of don't either. But we're actually going to work ourselves back to Runic Dodecahedron. It takes so long for Noxious to get up there. But dude. <laughs> There's something happening here. We're being a little bit disrespectful. Uh, we're about to be debuffed as well, which is really bad, but... Oh, it's just Void. We can work with that. 36. Still have to play it, but... We're still waiting on Wraith form. Noxious is helping. 36 damage. 12, 24, 35, 36, minus 2. So, I think to maintain Runic Dodecahedron, we should burst. It allows us to save the deflect, at least. It's not all as bad as it looks. I don't like using burst unless we have to. I feel like we had to there. And this guy, he's doing nothing.
You know what? You should save that just in case. You don't need the bite. The bite is worth nothing right now. It's worth a little. Glass Knife basically should be purged from the deck. It's an active uh, detriment for us. But... I, you know what? It's actually... It never gets worse than 10 damage. So sure. It's increasingly looking like we're going to win. That owns. And, dude, as we get down into the... Basically, we're almost in the position where we can't lose if we just hold Wraith form. Um, and they're, they're really making me work for it here. They're like, do you want to do it right now, then? Well... I'm not going to play it right now. Am I willing to dump Wraith form? Yes. This is the worst turn we've had in a long time. And we're going to take zero damage. But only by one. <laughs> oh my god. Burst escape plan. Let's get the guaranteed block. So we are going to take some damage this turn as well. But it's, it's getting down to brass tacks. 25 damage is zero. He's dead. We're going to win. This is the most deserved Ascension win I've ever had. I thought for certain we were dead and we were screwed. Coffee Dripper. How on earth? <laughs> A coffee dripper and the world's most useless hand of greed, except for damage, have come through in the clutch. I am exalted. I am reborn. I am purged of salt. I have no idea how we did it. But here we are. Ascension mode 18 unlocked. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash northernline to be notified when I go live in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya!